Welcome behind the scenes of our latest photo shoot, Vision of the Future. Hey guys, welcome to Flirn. My name's Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. Today, we're gonna take you through behind the scenes of Vision of the Future. I'm gonna show you guys how we made the props for this photo shoot. We're gonna talk about the concept, post-production, as well as the lighting. So the first thing we do whenever we're creating a shoot like this is come up with our concept. And for this one, we wanted to create something that was a little bit more based in the future. And for that, I really wanted to focus on a specific detail, mostly some glasses. And the original idea was to have um, maybe, let's say in the future, uh, the sun kind of like burns out and you can't experience the world through normal light. You have to maybe wear special glasses where you can see some gamma rays or something. I, I don't really know, I'm not a science fiction writer, but it seemed like an interesting opportunity to create some interesting props for a photo shoot. So that was the whole idea. We went through and actually did some sketches and then wound up creating these glasses for the actual photo shoot. And um, I'll explain how these are built and it was really not that hard, but adds a lot of interesting detail to the photo. So the base of the glasses is like a sun shield that you would put over your regular sunglasses. Uh, we found this on Amazon. It's just looked really nice and clean and um, a little bit less old people than some of the other ones I've seen. And everything else we basically picked up at Radio Shack. It's a whole lot of circuitry in different parts. These are audio cables and everything is like 35 millimeter jacks. These are epoxied together. You can see it's relatively easy and these can be put on and actually mounted and you know actually worn, which is a really nice thing to have a base for your props. Everything else we've picked up all kinds of interesting wires. We picked up uh, circuit boards as well. These are little like plug connectors that um, on the back we actually melted. There was a little bit of plug sticking out there. So that was melted off so that could actually be mounted to the model space. And last week we, ha we had these little details. These are really cool. These are actually two separate parts. This is a plug as well. This is basically something like weatherproofing a, uh, a coaxial cable. I cut these in half using an angle grinder with a cutting wheel on it. And then we just simply placed them back together. Now the cool thing is these are totally separate pieces but because this is rubber it fits together and this is a 35 millimeter female jack to a 35 millimeter male and they really do actually fit together. They're designed to fit together and they will stay together. So the reason why we built this kind of platform was because this part of it uh, is actually gonna be glued to our subject's head. So we built two of these things and uh, we wound up gluing them directly here to our subject's head. So not only do we have these glasses and the idea is that this is how you experience the world when you have these on, but they're actually plug into your head to give you like some uh, messages right or into your head. So that was kind of the idea. Not only we had the glasses, but they actually interacted with the subject and maybe in the future people need to have plugs in them for extra technology ports. The lighting for this image is really cool and it's also very specific. In the end, we wound up using six different lights and we wound up using a modifier that we had to change over and over again through the photo shoot. This is actually one example of what we tested the modifier for. And this is trying to get that really beautiful reflection right there on the front of these glasses. We went through a few different things, including snoots. This is basically a barn doors, which we gaffer taped the front, some cardboard with a little slit there and a blue gel here. This wasn't the final light that we wound up using, but it was kind of like halfway there and um, it wound up actually working pretty well. So the final light is included in the pro tutorial and you'll be able to see it. It came out really nice. In the end image, we actually wound up using three different rim lights, which sounds a little bit crazy, but it really worked out for this image. We also used a background light as well as a fill light, and this type of light really did bring in more attention to the glasses. So that's what we wanted this light for, and it did a perfect job. Refining this image in Photoshop was a lot of fun. We went through retouching and styling the image, but we also did some really cool detailing. We took this circuit board and actually manipulated it many different times over the subject and actually transformed it to become part of the subject, not only the technology, but the subject's skin. So just something simple like this can add a ton of detail in the final shot. Guys, thanks for taking a look behind the scenes. For full instruction in the photo shoot, as well as Photoshop and Lightroom, check out our pro tutorial available now.